Hi guys, welcome back to our makeup channel. If you guys don't know, this is Paco, my dog, my precious little dog. He is being tortured right now because he obviously doesn't want to be in front of the camera. He is not camera ready today. Anyways, do you guys notice something different about me? Do you guys? Do I look the same? Do I look different? Well, I hope I look different because I went dark. I went over to the dark side. Yay, finally, right? I'm not blonde anymore and I am totally not hating it. I actually wanted to get rid of the blonde for a while now. I was just like... <sighs> kind of like iffy about it because that is my comfort zone i love having blonde hair like well obviously it wasn't like all blonde but i like having half blonde and paco decided to eat right now paco if you hear somebody chewing in the background that's just paco eating he decided to have his extra breakfast right now because he already ate but yeah i decided to go over to the dark side i love it a lot more it feels more fallish and uh, i don't know i just don't really miss the blonde right now i think when summer comes around i'll probably miss it i don't know if i will go back to it just because my hair looks a little bit healthier more nourished it looks more like me back in the day um i also went black nails which i never do because i am so afraid of black nails especially because of my skin tone as you guys know i'm a little bit more chocolatey but i feel like like darker tones just make me look a little bit darker and it's not like a bad thing or anything but my hands especially are more tan than my whole body like my hands are more more tan and it's just like looks weird like it just fucking looks weird so i never go for maroons i never go for black so this year upcoming year my goal is to get out of my comfort zone and try new things hence the new hair i was like okay bye blonde hair come dark hair also dark nails in my comfort zone but i am trying it as also i want to try new makeup styles and all that but if you guys thought this was just like a video of me talking about how i dyed my hair that would be so boring i'm actually going to be showing you how i achieve this like maroon dark kind of look so you guys can use it either for thanksgiving or whatever event you want i will be telling you what lip color i use i however do not recommend this lip color why it is so drying on the lips guys right now my lips are like the saharan desert like they're about to chop off like they're just gonna fall like it's so like drying um i guess it's good if you don't have like dry lips i don't know if i have dry lips i don't really think i do but it's just like sucking all the moisture out of me but it's such a really nice color like it really is and it went with my look so of course i used it for today so let me just show you how i achieved this eye look so you guys can get it at home so the first thing I'm going to take, guys, is going to be the NYX HT Concealer. And this is in the color 05, I believe. And I'm just going to be taking that on my eye. I'm just using one of these stippling little small brushes to put it on my eye. Just so that we can start our makeup look. I've been enjoying this concealer so, so much. I really love it. Then I'm going to be taking Peach Merengue. And that is that white color on the palette from Too Faced. And I'm just going to be doing to set all the eye then i'm going to be taking the jacqueline hill palette and i'm going to be using that little champagne pop not champagne pop but it's kind of like a champagne -y color under my eyebrow to highlight it i think this just gives it the wow factor and i don't know i've just been liking how it looks so i'm just applying it there carefully then i'm going to be taking this color peach tea and i'm just going to be applying it on the crease this is going to be like our color that we start with obviously i don't know what the hell i'm saying and i'm just gonna be blending it and kind of building it up to the intensity that i want i really love these colors because i feel like you can build them up and build them up and take your time so that is what i'm doing here kind of like pulling it out a little bit just so that it makes my eye look a little bit bigger then i'm taking peach cobbler and this color i loves a lot i loves it it's really really nice like a orangey brown and i'm just taking it again in the same kind of area pulling it out just to make my eyes seem a little bit bigger 
what am I saying? <laughs> yes, that's what I meant. And just blending, 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 blending. Then I'm going to be taking the color Peach Toast, which I am not going to lie. This color is a little patchy. It is a little patchy. You do have to blend a little bit more. That's why you will see right now that I will grab another dark brown from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Just because I felt like this one needed to be blended a little bit more. And I just wanted it to be a tad bit more darker. So I did go ahead and grab the brown from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And used it in the inner corner. This just blended out everything smoothly. And it didn't make it look patchy at all. So I'm really happy that I did that. Even though I did want to stick to one palette. But it's fine. It's fine. Then I will be taking the color Just Ripe, which is a very nice burgundy purplish color. Super pretty. You do have to pack it on though. You do have to build it up to the intensity that you want. But it is super freaking pretty for the season. I loved it. It's just like a freaking perfect grape. That's what I would say. Then I'm going to be taking the NYX eyeliner, which is my favorite. And I am going to be applying a wing eyeliner. Pray for me. Let's hope it comes out Gucci. Um, I kind of think it did, but it might have not been. <laughs> I have no idea. So here I'm just showing you how I'm trying to do it ASAP as fast as I can. And yep, there it goes. Perfect. Let's move on, Jessica. Let's move on. <laughs> then I'm going to be taking this Lanka mascara that I have as a sample. I really do like it. It really gets in there. So I'm just going to be using it. Then I'm going to be taking the color Peach Tea under my eye just to kind of give it a, a little bit of color down there. Then finally, I'm going to be taking just ripe just right no i'm gonna be taking peach cobbler there you go peach cobbler and applying it on the bottom not going so dramatic on the bottom because we're already looking a little bit dramatic so just to add a little bit of color blending everything out then taking the jacqueline hill palette one more time i'm going to be adding that little champagne color in the middle to give it a little bit of more highlight because girl you need that pop I don't know. I've just been liking it for the inner corner and under the eyebrow. I think it's such a beautiful color. At first, I'm not going to lie. I was afraid of this color because I thought it was to set the whole eye. Because it's not until you touch the color that you notice that it is shimmery. Then I'm going to be taking the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. Holy shit. This freaking highlighter is to die for. Everybody always asks me what highlighter this is. And I tell them. And it is super cheap. So if you don't have this in your collection, you need it, girl. You need it. Yes, work it. All right, guys. So that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me down below if you recently changed your hair color too. Was it drastic? Was it not? Who cares? Just let me know what color you changed it to. Honestly, if I had the choice, I would have gone a fun color. I just don't have that choice because of my job. And sorry, I keep turning like this way, but this highlight, like seriously, like it's just making me live. Like it's just amazing. But yes, just let me know down below what color you got it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.